two, three, fuck it. What's up guys, it's Caitlin. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I do a lot of videos about beauty, wellness, health. I talk about coffee a lot. I do a lot of like fashion, vlogs, just entertainment and bringing joy to the world. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Even if you just like this video, it'll really help me out just to be recommended to other people and support my channel as a whole. And if you really want to, you can subscribe. That'd be cool. So in today's video, I'm going to be diving into cleaning things out Marie Kondo style. I'm gonna try to be more of like a minimalistic person and have a more minimalistic closet where I only have these staple pieces. Yeah, I never thought I would describe myself as a minimalist because I'm definitely not. As you can see behind me, I have way too many things that I don't need and probably will never need or worn them like once or not at all. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I sell my items, how I make money, and overall, Marie Kondo, we're coming for you, so better watch out. And if you don't know who Marie Kondo is, she wrote a book about being more minimalistic and how to live a minimalistic life, which I do not do whatsoever. Uh, my friends watching this, they're probably like, Caitlin, trying to be a minimalist, ain't gonna happen. I have this problem where I hold on to like literally everything that holds value. Like I think it's called anything that holds value that you could potentially sell, I keep. So that's why in this video I'm gonna show you guys what apps I use and how to actually make money off of all the shit that you keep keeping. Um, I'm looking around and I have like so many things that I could sell or donate and things that I don't even look at and they just stress me out because I have so much crap in here. So anyways, Marie Kondo, her first things, I have them written down here. Her first things are to make sure everything has its place. Which isn't a thing where I am. <laughs> Nothing really has its place besides the things that I really, really like. Which is exactly what she's getting at. Only have things that you really, really like, which I do not do. I'm literally looking over here. I have like five makeup palettes that I got when I first started doing makeup. And first of all, makeup doesn't even last that long. Throw away or see if I can use them. But if you look behind me, these are all of just my shirts. That's not including stuff in this dresser, stuff in those drawers, stuff over there in a pile, stuff in my actual room. I also have all my dresses and jackets hung up over here. There's not even jackets or dresses over here. This is this is just the all of the shirts that I keep. And I'm a college student. Don't need this many things. I'm not Kim Kardashian. The second tip for Marie Kondo is to get rid of papers. I would say I don't have that many papers, but I have I um I literally have a pile of papers over there. And I have so many books that I know will never read again. Oh, there's papers right there. Okay, maybe I do have papers. <laughs> so, second one is to use vertical space. I guess this closet is vertical-ish. Um, yeah, I feel like it's pretty vertical. We got that going a little bit, a little bit. And then fourth one is doesn't spark joy. All the crap that I have, it definitely does not spark joy. There's literally like 10 shirts that I wear consistently and like five, not even five, like four shoes that I wear a good amount. And as you can see, there's a lot of shoes. Oh, I also have clothes, like some main winter clothes in my storage unit in Austin for school because we had to move because of coronavirus. So I just threw like everything that I knew I wasn't gonna wear this summer in the storage unit. So I have a lot of crap there too. So as you can see, I have a problem and I really need to do this. And when I tell you I need this, I need it. And let's just hop right into it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys what apps I use, I mainly use Poshmark and Mercari. Some people use Depop. I know some people, another one called like Thrift or something like that. Or Curtsy, Wish, something like that. But I don't use those. I like Poshmark because a lot of people are on it. And I like Mercari because there's less people on it. So it's better for buyers in my opinion. On Mercari, if someone puts Lulu shorts, it'll actually be there for like a couple days. But versus on like Poshmark, it's like gone instantly. So I usually use Mercari. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to actually use Mercari and how you can get money. And I have another video that's about how to the basics and how to use Poshmark and Mercari in detail if you guys are interested in that. Um, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite things in my closet, obviously. I'm gonna get rid of things, I'm gonna donate things, I'm gonna make things into a pile of sell, donate, and give to a friend. Some of the sales item I'll probably give to my friends too, but there's just some things I know my friends aren't gonna want because <laughs> I just have so much crap. I literally have drawers filled. I can't even fit my stuff. That's very unnecessary, so all that fun stuff. Let's just hop right into it. Also, shout out to my coffee. This video would not be happening without her so I got myself a large I knew I was gonna this was gonna take some 
motivation to actually get done. So first I'm gonna start out with all of my shoes. This isn't even all of them, some of them are downstairs, but we're gonna go through them. Minimalistic, here we come. Okay, so where should I like make my piles? Oh, I already have a box, let me go get that. Okay, so I already have this box filled with crap that I already was planning on getting rid of. I should really like take the coat hangers out. I don't know why I left them in there, but these are some of the things. For example, this is a American Eagle shirt still with the tags on it, never worn. Okay, this is actually kind of cute. I don't know why I'm getting rid of it. But like Marie Kondo said, if it doesn't spark joy, don't keep it. Don't be a hoarder like me. I'm literally a hoarder. Like any good sale, I want it. And then other things that aren't on sale that I really like, get that too. My dogs are barking. Okay, this is like low-key cute. Um, also, if you- Let me go shut them up. So these are already some of the things I'm getting rid of. And if you guys want to support me and buy cute clothes for a discount, so you can just DM me and I'll lower the price probably like 10 bucks. So if you want to follow my Mercari account, I'll leave that below. If a lot of y'all only have Poshmark, you can comment down below and I'll put a lot of them on Poshmark. So this is already a pile of things that I'm already getting rid of. I already went through some of my closet, but I haven't gone deep into the sentimental shit over there. So these are some Converse. These are my friends. I'm not actually giving them these. She just left them here. All right. First up, we have some Champion leggings. Never worn, size medium. My mom has this thing where she likes to buy clothes, like small through large, because she doesn't know what she's gonna fit in. And then she just gives me all of them, but a lot of the times they're not my style. Obviously moms wear different kinds of leggings than like an athlete would wear. Like these are cute, don't get me wrong, but I could literally never wear these playing tennis because they have like a weird band and they would like suffocate me or they're too big. So thanks mom, but I don't think I can use those. Okay, so these jeans I'm getting rid of because they don't fit me very well. They're size 28. I got these like five years ago. These were the first pair of jeans I have ever gotten that were more than like $40 from Hollister. I'm pretty sure these bad boys were like 80 bucks and that's insane to me. I do not pay that much money unless they're like a specialty jean. Don't know why baby Caitlin would ever buy these. I have some really cool Zaffo bikinis. Never worn, nice detailing. That'll be on sale. This will be on sale. Just so you guys know, most of my stuff is from Thrifting, Free People, Forever 21, Lululemon, Urban Outfitters, and Nordstrom. So there's pretty decent stuff. Kind of crazy and we'll just buy everything. But now I buy like really good pieces. So if you're interested in shopping my stuff, It'll be good shit, I promise you. We got some Roxy beach pants. I got these at like a beach store. They're so freaking soft and so nice, but my butt is just too big and they're too white to have a big butt in them. You know, you can see everything. Tag's still on them. And I'll just shut up and we'll... Tag's still on this. Cozy free people shirt. Bikini number one. Three people shirt, kind of revealing, kind of cute. It just looks kind of weird on me because I'm like short. All right, so that's relieving. Just kidding, I already did that. I already made that decision. So now let's go into the shoes. I really want to try. My goal is to get rid of like repurchasing items from other people and recycling clothing as much as you can because well, you don't even know how much products are wasted and hurt the environment. You just shop all the time. Like, of course I shop. I, I'm gonna make it a mission to try to thrift more, try to buy things off of these apps like Mercury and Poshmark. So let's just hop right into it, into those shoes. All right. Into the shoes we go. Uh, these are strappy sandals that I thought were really cool in like 8th grade from Charlotte Bruce. Definitely not my style anymore. If I do wear sandals, I like to wear chunky ones anyways. Because I'm so short, because I have fat feet, I don't like when my feet are like squished with really thin sandals. I would rather wear Burks, something chunky. So we're getting rid of these. Can you see the sandal pile? Another black strappy shoe that I have never worn. These are from American Eagle, so these are a little better. These are pretty cute. I would wear these again, but I just have other black shoes. We don't need them. Oh, wait, but you thought there weren't any more black strappy shoes? Here's some more. These are from Charlotte's. I used to wear these all the time when I was younger. They're cool. They have a little tassel. A little tassel, as you can see. Sale. Actually, I'm going to see if my friends want these, but a lot of my friends don't have the same shoes. Shoe size is me. I'm a seven to eight. I have mainly seven and a half, but all my tennis shoes are like eights. Oh, right. We have these cute little guys. They kind of give me blisters. But these things are kind of cute, so I'm going to put them back up here and I'm going to be in the maybe. All right, these things were from... I'll keep these in the maybe. Don't kill me. All right. These bad boys, I used to wear all the freaking time. They're Steve Madden. These are those shoes that everyone was raving about. <sighs> I used to wear them all the time. Okay, Marie Kondo said if it sparks joy, then you should keep 
outfit. So do you guys think this sparks joy? Comment down below if you think I should sell these to just donate them or give them to a friend. Maybe I'll give them to a friend so I don't have to completely get rid of them. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. We're putting them in sale. There you go. They can never come back, even though they're right there. These bad boys used to wear all the freaking time, but as you can see, my dog Walter actually ate them. So I'm going to be selling these because they were like 80 bucks, but I'll sell them for like $10 for every, anyone out there that wants some Steve Madden shoes and don't mind that my dog chewed up this sole a little bit. I mean, the, the left one's chilling. This is a beautiful shoe. Just when people come up, you gotta just turn and show on the left. All right, we're making, we're making progress. These things are empty. These are super cute shoes just for cutesy. All right, so these are literally Doc Martens, but cheaper, and they have literal like memory foam in here. So these are the best shoes ever, but my dog bit this part. So if you're interested in getting these, swipe to Mercari, because these are the most comfortable shoes. They look just like Birkenstocks. I think I said something else earlier. <sighs> Progress. All right, so these are Sanooks. I know you guys have probably heard of these. Okay, they kind of make you look like a hobo, but I mean, these things are cute, so I'm keeping them. I got some Ugg shoes keeping. We got my Doc Martens. Doc Martens, literally my favorite shoe that I have ever owned. My friend Vivian is actually the one that um, first showed me these, but I had seen them like on Pinterest and stuff and I did, just didn't know like what brand they were. And then one day I was with my mom and she told me how she used for Doc Martens. So she surprised me and got them for me. Thanks mom. These shoes are really, really expensive, but they're such a good investment. I've worn these so many times. They're nice because you can wear them with like dresses, jeans, some leggings, some skirts. Like you could literally even wear these with sweatpants and they're cute. But I've worn these probably a hundred times in the past year. And they don't even, like literally, they look brand for the nails. Guys, I used to wear these to high school. I remember one time I wore this literally to school. I don't know why anyone let me wear shit like this to school. Somebody should have stopped me. Grace, what were you thinking? Yeah, I was one of those high schoolers that literally wore heels to school like once a week. So stupid, don't know why I did it. Whatever, people probably thought I was psycho. I think that too now, so whatever. We are definitely selling these. These are super cute, but I do not need purple shiny shoes. I'm not a fashionista, so if anyone wants these, I wore them once to high school. Come and get them. These are some running shoes that I have. We're going to be selling these as well. I also have these brand new Superstars. They're too big for me, so I can't wear them. They're size eight, but they run kind of big. So I'm gonna be selling these there as well. I have some black heels. These are really cute. I'm pretty sure I wore these to like one of my homecomings. So they have some sentimental value, but I have other black shoes. I'm never gonna wear these again. And if I ever need fancy black shoes, I'll just get different ones. I don't need to hold on to these forever. Someone else can use them a lot more than I can for my subscribers. These are also some heels that I have. These are really cute. I wore them to my first banquet for tennis. So I think I'm gonna sell them. I haven't worn them since. That was five years ago. Damn, that was like six years ago. It was my freshman year banquet. All right, and I also have these wedges that I got on sale. Literally have never worn, so we're gonna sell them. The bottoms, they're not even, there's literally no scratches, no nothing. Okay, I feel like we made some good progress. So, so now we are going to head into the actual clothes. This part's actually a little bit stressful. Because I know I'm about to get rid of all this crap. Luckily, it's kind of organized into these nice colors. So, maybe it'll be easier. I don't know if that's anything to do with things being easier, but. Okay, where should we start? the first item this is from urban outfitters and i bought it one time trying to like prepare for some type of event in high school and this bitch this shirt 70 bucks still have the tags 70 freaking dollars okay sorry 69 so we're gonna sell this for not such an outrageous price <sighs> urban outfitters screws everyone over unless you go to the sales section in my opinion all right, so over here, I'm gonna put things that I'm going to sell. And then over here, I'm gonna just keep things where they belong. And I'll probably make a maybe pile along the way, but this is a yes pile. For now, I'm gonna hang most of the yeses over on this little hook, because if I just put it back, then they're all gonna just be in the way of each other. Or should, 
Maybe this, scratch that. We're putting the sail. No, no, we're keeping it here. Okay, keeping this thing over here. Here comes the time where I start having trouble. Alright, this shirt is so nice. I think basic shirts like this are a staple in a closet and you should never get rid of them and you can make them casual, you can make them pretty and like going out, you can wear them with Converse, you can wear them with heels, Doc Martens, running shoes, anything, leggings, jeans, skirts. So one time I got this little shirt from like a boutique in Alabama and I thought it was really cute because it was like strapless like this and literally everyone I know basically didn't like it and never told me. Um, basically everyone said it looked like an old person's skirt. Actually, and one of my friends, Luke, Luke if you're watching this, you we were at tennis practice and he said that it looked like a maternity shirt that like people wear when they're pregnant and they don't want people to see their belly. So we're gonna sell this little guy. This is one of my favorite like little bombers from Lululemon. Okay, we are making progress. This guy is getting pretty thick. This is all of the things that I'm selling, plus all of the other things I was showing out earlier. So that's pretty good. This is going to take a lot of time to take pictures of all of this. So this shirt is from Nordstrom. It's so cute. It's like crisscrossing in the back. I'm going to get rid of it though. Someone else can love this shirt just as much as I did. Alright, so these are all the things that I need to go through. Obviously, I have an obsession with black, so don't judge me. My dogs won't stop barking, and I really, really want to kill them. So these are all the things I'm going through that are on the lower portion. A lot of black, a lot of dark colors. So these ones are going to be interesting to get rid of because I literally think all black things are different and have special meanings and different purposes in my wardrobe. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Ah, the first one. This is the first black shirt that I'm getting rid of. Can't you tell it's just as cool as this one? And this one? And this one? Oh, and another overpriced, weird shirt that I got from Urban Outfitters. This really cool halter top from Urban Outfitters, and I got it from I got it at Goodwill while I was thrifting. So this is an awesome find. Another for people shirt. Another for people shirt. I actually bought this really cute shirt from Nordstrom a while ago. Just doesn't fit me anymore. This is from Old Navy. Don't know why I ever bought this, but here we are. I used to wear this shirt all the time. Well, absolutely loved it. Okay, so this is the aftermath of all of the things in my closet getting rid of it um yeah it's like really freaking dirty i just threw stuff like everywhere this is a lot of the shoes a lot of the crap all of it's gonna be in there all right so as you guys can see i changed into this little sweatshirt because that shit was getting way too intense for me to be sitting on the ground in denim shorts and a tight shirt that wasn't very flattering anyways we just put on this champions hoodie some cute little shorts from forever 21 that were like five bucks so now we're gonna head into my actual room where my dresser is and i'm going to go through all of the lulu stuff all the leggings all the shorts actually a lot of my clothes are dirty right now so we're not even gonna go into the lulu shorts let's just hop right into the other things that we're gonna be selling i'm also gonna donate one of my other things i have a lot of bralettes that i just hang on to so many bras from like victoria's secret that i thought were like required to enter womanhood so those are going to the trash so guys, in the middle of this video, I actually hit 64 subscribers, so that's pretty cool! Celebration! My goal for this month is to hit 100 before June, so hopefully we get there. And if you are watching this and you press subscribe, you are helping a girl out, a sister out. So please subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, you don't really want to see my face, you could at least like the video and that'll help me maybe get a little higher on recommending this video to people. And I would appreciate it so, so much. Thanks guys if you are subscribed to help me hit my goal. And I'll have a lot more content coming, a lot more fun things happening this summer after some of the quarantining um, shelter in place rules are uplifted. Maybe I can go somewhere actually. 
All right, so we are in my room now. As you can see, I'm sitting on the floor and this is where I keep all of my denim, all of my leggings, all of athletic clothes, t-shirts, random pajama pants up in here, random pants that I forgot were even in here as I just found them. So we're gonna be going through that and this is more of the fun stuff and we're about to take a huge dent into all of this crap. It's gonna take me so long to list all of these things on Mercari, but let's hop into it. This is all of my athletic tops. As you can see, they don't even fit. So we definitely gotta get rid of all of that. These are all of my jeans and all of my pants. I also have more in there. We'll see how this goes. Also in here are all of my swimsuits. This is where I keep usually my Lulu shorts and my denim shorts and stuff like that. So let's hop to it. All right, I got a little toasty, so I'm putting my hair up. Okay, so first pair of jeans are these black jeans that I got from Nordstrom. We're for sure keeping these. Um, these are my new free people mom jeans that I got the other day in the mail and I love them. All right, so as you can see, I had like an obsession with these random striped pants and like yeah they're good for like a cute little outfit but i've honestly worn them like probably twice each and last time i wore them i think i wore them once in college and maybe another time in high school they're gonna go into the sales pile i got these from princess polly and they make your butt look really nice but they're like so tight on my butt so i'm gonna sell these as well i've never worn them oh my god these are my favorite for people pants of all time they're like loose and so cute and i love them highly recommend purchasing these. I'll try to find them and link them down below. Adidas sweatpants. So I'm going to be getting rid of those because I literally didn't even know I had them. Oh my god, I used to love these skinny jeans because they're this like light blue wash that was really trending and they had this frayedness at the bottom. And I'm petite, so I can never wear these frayed jeans um at the bottom because i always have to roll my jeans up but these are the one jeans where i didn't have to roll them up so i'm gonna sell these or give them to my boyfriend's little cousins because they're so cute and they're still good quality so we're gonna sell these so i got these super cute camo pants and i don't care what anyone says i think they're kind of cute but you need them for like that staple um outfit i almost wore these to a maxo cream concert because i just think it's like kind of cool and like kind of even though they're camo like they're kind of edgy you wear them with like black so i'm gonna keep these for like a staple outfit all right these are probably one of my favorite jeans ever they're from pack sun and they're high-waisted and they don't have all those buttons like like free people in pack and usually have. A lot of high-waisted stores have all those buttons and they kind of make you look like you have a pudge, but these do not and they're really cute. Boyfriend jeans with some flattering holes just on the knees and that frayedness that I was just talking about for like short people. And even if you're tall, they will have like that crop look. So I highly recommend these are like 40 bucks. They are in size 26 mom jeans and I've had them since around my junior year of high school and I've worn them. I literally wear this, these pair or the other pair like once a week all the time, even in the summer when I work and even during the school year. And they're actually comfortable well, they don't like right up your crotch, right up your ass. So, highly recommend. <laughs> up here so they're high waist and they look like nice jeans and they have this zipper detailing in them but it's not an actual pocket it's just detailing and they look like slacks but i'm gonna sell them just because i'm like too curvy i would say or just a little too fat for these ones so but look literally like look how stretchy they are they're like leggings but thick but not like hot oh they're so amazing so you guys should definitely get them they're a size medium i'm gonna put these on mercari and the drawer is empty. I forgot all my leggings I actually moved into my other room or into the closet. So we're not even going through leggings yet. This is literally just all the pants and jeans. So, all right, now I'm just gonna go through some of my t-shirts. Most of these are really ugly because all my cute ones are dirty right now. So I'm just gonna do that really quick. Not really important. <laughs> that I'm going to be selling. It's like strappy in the back and it's connected to the shirt. So it's a sports bra and shirt included. I'm going to be selling this little lemon purple sports bra. I'm going to be selling this pink Lululemon razorback tank. 
I'm going to be selling this other one with the built-in sports bra and this cotton t-shirt from Lululemon. Super cute, just a little too big for me. <laughs> this Lulu shirt, brand new basically, in this nice pink color built-in sports bra. If I could take you. This is a tight yellow shirt from Lululemon that I'm going to be selling as well. And we'll save these for later to fold and deal with. And the drawer still probably won't close, so I probably should have gotten rid of more things. This is like my socks and underwear drawer, so nobody really needs to see that. Alright, so this is the bra section. I got this from Target and it has underwire in it and it's super cute, strappy in the back. It has these off shoulders, but I have literally never worn it. We got a cute red one from Zaffle that I will be keeping. This top is super cute, but a little too big for me. So I'm gonna be selling this one as well. These are the matching bottoms for that neon green top. They're brand new, never been worn. Oh, look how much I got rid of. That's awesome. Alright guys, so that's the end of this video. I finally went through everything. This process has taken like five hours. I'm exhausted. I didn't think standing in my room going through things would be so tiring. So there's that. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you that clicked on this video, watched this video, and if you're hearing me talk right now, I freaking love you. Thanks for the support. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you don't really want to see my face that often, you could at least give this video a like. That'll help me out as well and support me. I'm trying to hit 100 followers in May. The month's almost over, so if we get there, that would be awesome. And you can purchase all of these things on my Mercari account or Poshmark account in, in the DMs if you tell me that you're a subscriber. I would happily give people free shipping or like $10 off an expensive item, $2 off. We could bundle and save you some money. And I would love to like throw in some free things for those of you who are supporting me. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you found some entertainment in this and have some inspiration to maybe go a little more minimalistic. Obviously, I am not a minimalist but I want to like revamp my wardrobe and have nicer staple pieces and I'm tired of just having all this crap so all of the things that are not sold on Mercari all of them will go to a donation center I probably won't give them to Goodwill because there are better things that will give my clothes and my stuff to people that are more in need Goodwill isn't just always the best place for that I want to help out a local charity and thanks so much for watching guys if you want to see how I actually upload things to Mercari and how you get your money and how you upload things to Poshmark how you get your money if it's legit what works what doesn't what helps your stuff sell i will make another video and give you guys tips and tricks on how to maneuver those apps because they're really helpful and you can sell things like mugs pillows jewelry i've sold a lot of james avery charms for like 50 bucks so definitely keep that in mind and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching guys this is all of the swimsuits, pants, things that were in there. The things I'm gonna be keeping. These are clothes on my bed that I haven't even put up yet, so that's nice. Large dent out of this closet. These are all the things that I'm keeping right here. And these are all of the things that I'm going to be selling, so that'll take a while. I have some really nice athleta tops that have never been worn right here. And some O'Neill stuff, some Nordstrom stuff, some boutique stuff, some champion stuff. And then here's this guy with all the clothes, all the shoes, some nice superstars, size eight that I've never worn. More clothes just piled on on top of clothes. Stuff over here. <laughs>